Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck. Thank you for tuning in if you are new. If you are an OG, thank you for coming back and rocking with your girl. I definitely appreciate you here. Today I am teaming up with Mega Look. They sent over this beautiful highlight bob wig. I love a good balayage. I love a good dark root. I love the highlights. I think that with this new foundation that I've been using, and I'm going to be doing a makeup, a detailed makeup tutorial for you guys soon to give you all the tea, but I love how sun kiss my skin is looking even in the winter time and i think the blonde in this one definitely like bounces off the skin i know i'm just being dramatic and extra but i definitely love the way this one look and how it came out now i did opt for baby hair i did this without any like curling iron you guys know how we do the the pencil um the pencil mini little curling iron um, or flat iron. I didn't use that at all and I think it came out absolutely beautiful. I used foundation for a lace tint and that also is chef's kiss. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Be warned, I'm starting in a bald cap so I might look crazy. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, ladies, let's jump right into it. This is the wig straight out of the box. I like to show you guys a visual of the inside construction of the cap. So you'll have a visual of how you can part your wig. This one also includes an elastic band. And I like to put that on first. And that kind of just like pushes down the braids in the back so they can be a little bit more flat. And this is what the wig looks like on. She's absolutely gorgeous. This is a 13 by 6 balayage highlight lace front wig in the texture deep curly and it is 12 inches in length I'm gonna jump right into the install process and I'm gonna do any customizations I choose as we go ahead and bond her down and you know style her so I'm not gonna do the customizations beforehand but you definitely can this is what she looks like as a center part now on the um, website it was set as like a side part so that's what we're gonna do today and this is a look at the hair from the back the balayage highlights are absolutely beautiful and they pair well with the curls I love the fact that the curls in this one look like natural curls and not like manufactured curls if that makes any sense so we're going to go ahead and bond her down and i am using that even that i love so much in the color red you'll see in my next video i absolutely ran out so right now i have no adhesive i couldn't bond a wig down if i wanted to which is SOS in distress someone save me um, I do blow dry on a cool setting if you don't want to use a blow dryer you can use like a hand fan and this is that quick pick of what the wig looks like on the sales page which is the inspo of how I styled the wig today now that the wig is bonded down I'm just kind of like pulling the hair forward you guys know that um, adhesive sometimes will make the front of the hair kind of stiff so I'm kind of just like combing out all that extra product that got into the hair as I pull the hairline forward now i did not want it to be too full in the front so i did go for baby air like from like eyebrow to eyebrow i didn't do any sideburns at all but you're gonna see how beautiful it's gonna look and right now it looks pretty full but we're gonna finesse it and you're gonna see how just easy it is to customize as you go because sometimes when you like tweeze out the hairline before you bond it down you really don't have any clue if you are over plucking or not until like later on so i'm gonna do the plucking like while the wig is already installed and styled that way I know exactly what needs to come out here I'm doing the dynamic duo I'm just pairing the wax with the electric hot comb both are from my website bdegbity.com and now that we've done that you see I'm just going in and tweezing out the hairline opening it up so that it looks a lot more natural and thin in the front now that I have it how I like it this is absolutely gorgeous I was impressed I love 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 this color against my complexion and I just wanted to comb it out sometimes I like to comb my curls out and just see how it looks like full and big and natural in this case it looks gorgeous but let's go ahead and continue to work on the lace I went for a side part but I did kind of curve it somewhat and then I continued that dynamic duo along that area this is going to make sure that the lace looks super flat and kind of give the growing out of the scalp vibe a little bit more I do tons of heat passes you don't have to if you don't want to or you can use like water or mousse which will flatten this area as well opposed to putting like heat if that makes any sense and here I am just um tweezing out that sideburn because again I'm customizing as I go to Today. so I'm just like seeing what it looks like and just removing and even tomorrow and the next day after I'll continue to tweeze it out until I get it to how I like it 
So now we're going to go in with liquid products along the lace. The lace is pretty much lighter than my complexion. So I was deciding if I wanted to go Maybelline or Fenty. The Fenty is a concealer and the Maybelline is a foundation. So I figured I'd go with the concealer because it is a thicker... Um, consistency you know it'll conceal a little bit more um and then i went ahead with the maybelline foundation along the hairline and i like the way it came out but of course if you don't love it you continue to customize until you have it exactly how you want it and so i ended up going in with a darker foundation and this is the ruby kisses on top and i think i got the perfect blend to match my complexion and i set it with the uh shapers just like you would set your makeup to make it all look like skin Okay, and ladies, so pit stop. I wanted to show you guys what it looked like when you just comb it out. Now, I don't know what I want to do, and it's kind of like, I feel like I just want to stay here. I love the natural look of it. I mean, I do curly hair, deep wave texture, all of the textures, all of the time. So part of me just literally wants to leave it like more of a, in more of like a fluffy state as such. But I know you guys want to see it curled up. So I'm just showing you guys how pretty it is like this. I'm not sure if I should go with my mousse or my curl cream. I don't want to get it super wet. I just want to, again, show you guys the definition in the curls. Let's just see what happens. Okay, now let's wet the hair down. As I said, I wanted it to be super big, but you know, I just wanted to give you guys options and dimension. This is a curly wig, so I really wanted you to see the curls more than anything in the actual tutorial. And of course, the Nairobi mousse paired with the Demon Brush is my favorite combo. And I just kind of like do this tandem, add a little water, add a little mousse, brush it if I don't like it, add a little bit of more to this, a little bit more to that until I get the look that I like. Of course, the pieces that are um, bleached are going to need a little bit more um, product than the pieces that are like virgin or natural. And that's just with your hair, my hair, wig hair, any hair is going to um, have a different effect or take product and water differently if it is chemically processed. But I will say that the way this one was bleached, the hair still had the curl and everything it needed. So it wasn't damaged which is a great thing and I didn't want it to be like wet wet so I kind of like blow dried it a little bit and then this was the look okay babies so we are somewhat done with this look I do want to let the hair dry up a little bit more now I do prefer the hair like extra big and natural even with this beautiful color I think it looks beautiful um nice and just big and just like blown out um but I did want to show you the definition of the curl especially because the hair is um highlight or you know dyed blonde i wanted to make sure i showed you guys that the texture of the hair and the integrity of the curl is absolutely there now i did just go in and do a thing and kind of just um almost like diffuse it the blow dryer is from beauty.com this blow dryer does come with a diffuser attachment it's i'm staring at the basket that it's in but i know it's at the bottom of the basket so i'm not even gonna try but i just wanted to kind of dry it up because again i do more so want the dry texture with this one and not the wet but i want it to kind of like wet it and define it first if that makes any sense and i do love the way that that came out so i do think it's a little bit pale so let's kind of just like warm it up and add some more brown to it. I think that definitely looks better. So this one did come from Mega Look. And you guys know I've been loving their units lately. Um, and this is the packaging. It did come with this nice dust bag. And they did also include the goodies for us. So with this one, we got this cute little pearl clip. Then this here is a elastic band. And it does say Mega Look on it. Or not elastic band, but you know, a melt belt. This here is an edge brush. And then here is a pair of lashes, as well as a tan pack of wig caps, which I definitely will rock. And I would just add a little bit of my foundation on top to make them match. I love how this one looks on my complexion. I am gonna be doing a um, makeup tutorial for you guys because I've been loving my makeup lately. It has a little bit more of a glow, and I like it. It blends on my complexion really good. It's not too bright. I don't know, I love it. But anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Be sure to check out Mega Look. Isn't that good? Direct link to this one is in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in and sticking around this long in the video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up so that I know you lasted this long. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.